Now that we have the basics down, let's do some cool stuff. So, let's delete that. And let's actually add some elements up here in our body as well. Let's add, let's see, an H2 tag or an H1 tag. Let's do hello world. And then we'll add a button that says click me. Then what we're going to do is we're going to write some more code in here. Button dot click function. Before I do the next one, I'm going to write a little bit of code, a little bit of co I'm going to write a quick comment just to explain what this is. When the button is clicked, do this. So it's a bit out of order, right? But when the button is clicked, do this essentially is, is what it's saying. And this thing is going to be h1 dot hide. By the way, these opening and closing parentheses indicate that this is a pre-existing function. Um, frequently termed a method basically so you're able to actually do a lot of uh, pre-made uh, JavaScript so they've already put in a whole lot of functionality into this hide method essentially so it's already gonna do something for us without having to write all the complicated JavaScript it's really the benefit of jQuery hide the hide all h1 tags because that's what it would do um, if we had more h1 tags on here so let's go ahead and test this out. We'll refresh the page. There's our H1, there's our button. We'll hit click me, and it hides it. Click it again, nothing happens, that's okay. All right, so there is a bit of a major problem with this though, right? Because then any button would hide every single H1. So the cool thing is though, we have these selectors. We have all these different options and things that we can use. So let's give this an ID equal to text and we'll give this a class equal to button then we're just going to change this to have dot right just like in CSS period button and then here we'll do hashtag text so then we, when we go back to the page and we refresh it's still working so we've just changed our selectors. So now we've just used class and ID. So earlier in the class, what we did was we would usually use classes because it's a safer bet. With JavaScript, you can just use IDs a lot because typically uh, you don't edit multiple objects or you won't have multiple functionality on different objects. So that's why IDs are typically used more for JavaScript and jQuery. One other selector that we can use here is called this. So what we can do is just type in this. Minus the parentheses. And we'll save it. We'll go back. We'll refresh. I'll hit the click me button. And this time it hid the button. And that's because this is actually referencing the button. All right, so whenever you have this within function, it's going to be referencing the initial element. All right, so try and remember that, that that's how this is used. So be really careful with that, right? I mean, this actually wouldn't work um, in this situation because what we want to do is hide the other text. But if you want to hide a button, then this is actually ideal for it. If you want to hide that one thing that you're clicking on, it makes sense. So those are the basic selectors. You have tags, IDs, classes, and this.